Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to calculate the area of the shaded square EFGH as you can see in this figure. If AB the base equal to 3 and the altitude CD equals to so the information given to us is AB equals to 3 and CD equals to 2. And here is our action plan. We are supposed to calculate the area of this square EFGH. Now let's recall the area of a square formula A equal to S square where S represents the side of a square. So therefore, our task is to find the side of the square EFGH first. Now let's go ahead and remove the shade and the arrows from this figure. And here is our new figure. Now let's focus on this square EFGH. And according to the definition of the square, its sides EF and this side GH are parallel. And we also know that this side GH is on this line segment AB. So therefore, this side EF and this line segment AB are going to be a parallel as well. And now let's recall the corresponding angles postulate. When two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then the resulting corresponding angles are congruent. And just look over here in this example over here, this angle 1 and angle 2 are corresponding angles and they are congruent. And likewise, this angle is going to be congruent to this angle. And we know in our case AC and BC are the transversals. So therefore, if I call this angle alpha over here, then this angle is going to be also alpha and they are congruent. And likewise, if I call this angle beta over here, then this angle is going to be a beta as well and they are going to be congruent as well. And now let's focus on these two triangles. Triangle ABC, the bigger one, ABC, and the smaller triangle is triangle EFC. And we can see that both of these triangles, they share this angle, isn't it? This angle C. And now let's recall angle, angle, angle theorem. If in two triangles corresponding angles are equal, then the triangles are said to be similar. So therefore we conclude that this bigger triangle ABC and this smaller triangle EFC are similar triangles. Now let's focus on our square EFGH. Since it's a square, it has all equal sides. I'm going to call each side X. This side is X, this side is X, this side is X, and this side is X as well. And we know that this height of this triangle ABC is a 2. CD, this length is 2. This one, let me just go ahead and show you. This is 2 units and we know that this height is X, isn't it? The height of this square. So this side is going to be, this part is going to be a simply 2 minus X. So thus the height of this smaller triangle EFC is going to be 2 minus x, this. And here I have copied down this smaller triangle 
EFC over here and this side EF is X the base and since this is the part over here X and this altitude is 2 minus X as you can see over here and since these two triangle triangle ABC and this triangle EFC are similar triangles so we will be using a proportions so that means we are going to put this height the altitude divided by this base ratio so I am going to put down this height of this bigger triangle 2 divided by this base is 3 equal to that's going to make it a proportion then the height is over here is 2 minus x divided by the base over here for smaller triangle is x so this is what we got as a proportion and now we're going to cross multiply and solve for x let's go ahead and do this thing so 2 times x is going to be 2x equal to this 3 times 2 minus x is going to give us 6 minus 3x now let's move this negative 3x on the other side becomes 2x plus 3x equal to 6 or this simply become 5x equal to 6 that means x is going to be simply 6 over 5 and here is our final step now let's calculate the area of this square EFGH and here's the formula of the area of a square A equal to S square where S is the side of the square so let's go ahead and fill in the blank so a equal to area equal to in our case our side is 6 over 5 and then square it so area simply turns out to be 36 over 25 thus the area of this square efgh turns out to be a equals to 36 over 25 square units are in terms of decimal is going to be a 1.44 square units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye